Robert Williams is in charge. And we're uh, underway in this uh, heavyweight contest. Scheduled for uh, four three minute rounds if it goes the distance. White very nicely in terms of symmetry, wearing white. And uh, Zeus in the with the white stripe down the side. It's interesting, you know, Phil, when you see the big guys, I always like to see, you know, what kind of condition they're in and you know, how can they box. But you can see from the early straight away, Dylan White's in tremendous condition. He's thrown a beautiful left jab. Oh, good punches from him. Yeah, you get the feeling already that uh, Zeus here is going to have his uh, work cut out. And also again, going back to the small ring. Interesting to see when Dylan gets back up, how his footwork goes so far early doors, he looks really accomplished on his feet. They obviously rate him, Phil, because the guy in front of him, as we know from Lithuania, has had like 60 contests, so... That's an accomplished start, though, from uh, Dylan White. Oh, good body shot. Sunk that into the ribs. White had to uh, postpone his professional debut, which he made in uh, May of this year due to a bad knee injury and the surgery that he needed to follow that to uh, treat the problem. Kept him out of the ring for almost a year, really, so he's a bit behind schedule as far as his plans were concerned, but seems pretty keen to make up for lost time this evening. 26 years of age, the Londoner. And uh, he's a he's pretty a big unit. Jab. He's got a beautiful jab, Phil. Nice and relaxed. Good left hook. Yes, one of those punches that kind of belies the power. Almost looks as though he just places the jab out there. But I can assure you, from this close quarters, it uh, packs a bit of fire. Working well off the back foot, off the ropes as well. A bit more aggression from uh, Zeus, though. He's losing in all fairness, he's having a go. He's not laying down, he's not come over just for the money. He was unsuccessful on his uh, previous two encounters in the uh, UK. One of those, in fact, both of those in London. Lost to uh, Ian Lewison and uh, Toxawo. And under pressure again here, the uh, Eastern European. It's interesting, you know, it's nice to see Dylan White using his advantage as well, like his height. And I noticed someone shouting in the crowd, you use your jab. So he's got a lovely piercing jab. For big guys, that was a really good round, Phil, the first one. Well, as we've mentioned already with uh, several of the other fighters, again, uh, Dylan White's got a bit of a pedigree in another sport because he, he started out as a kickboxer. In fact, uh, rose to be number one ranked in the country before turning to boxing. Can't use your feet, of course, in uh, <laughs> this game, but he's pretty handy with those uh, mitts. It's funny, you know, you, you, you say that, I always worry, like, even when you, know, you train youngsters in the gym and say, oh, he look good, you know, and they stand square on them. All of a sudden, they look around next to me and look around, they're kicking the bag. You think, so look, you know, you can't, please don't do that when you get in the boxing ring. But you know what, it's funny, you know, remember Matt Ten guy seconds. called Matt Skelton on heavyweight? He came from the, the kickboxing Ten arena, done really, really well. Round two. Nice faint now from White, nice faint with a jab. Worth pointing out with uh, Zeus, as we mentioned, he's into his uh, 61st fight of his pro career. Only been stopped once so far. That was very, very early on by a German, Alexander Frenkel, way back in uh, 2007. So uh, he's a pretty durable, redoubtable character, is the uh, Lithuanian. And he's got a bit of something about him, as you can see here. I tell you, he's tough, Zeus, I tell you, he can't, every time you watch him, he comes back. He's not, he's not bothered about the home support. 
tell you, he's talented, the man from the fan. You, you can tell, you know, listen, he may have lost a lot of his contest, but he's very clever, got good defence. Tight guard when he brings his hands up. Well, as you mentioned earlier in the Marchak fight, anybody who's uh, been schooled in Eastern Europe, it's a uh, kind of school of hard knocks, really. Without so if you down, come Phil, through yeah. that unscathed, you've got a bit of something about you. Good head movement there from Zeus. Good body shot there, though, from White. I just wondered if uh, Zeus's gesture there was that he felt the punch was a bit low. And Dylan White going forward, he's, got, he's making an awful lot of noise when he throws. Maybe something he's got to try and curb because obviously the opponent didn't realise you're, you're throwing. This is really warming up into a good contest, Phil. Yeah, Great very, action. Very, very different styles, the two men. And oh, good well, uppercut there. The gun required. Gum shield's flown out. Referee spotted it. Dylan White's gum shield come out as he, he marched forward. He threw an uppercut himself. Interesting, the man taking the gum shield there. Now it's Chris Oko, former Commonwealth champion at Cruiserweight, assisting in the corner tonight. Got to see Chris giving a bit of knowledge over to our sport. Back with the action. White showing a good variety of punches, head and body. But a man, a smaller man of Lithuania, keeps coming, firing back. Showing plenty of courage and bottle. Yeah, I think in the uh, opening few seconds, White may have thought that this was going to be a bit of a stroll this evening, but not quite the way that uh, Remigius Zeus sees it. And he's I tell you, battled gamely there, the uh, Lithuanian. He certainly has, Phil. He's had a really good part, second part to that round. Interestingly, Dylan White breathing very, very heavily in that corner. Now he's opted to stand. Interesting, they put his gum shield straight back in. White uh, had an uh, interesting career as an amateur, shall we say. Only eight or so fights. He felt he didn't get the uh, best of things as far as the uh, ABA are concerned. Felt his face didn't fit, lost his card. But among his victims as an amateur, no less than the ABA champion Anthony Joshua. So some uh, signposts towards his capabilities there. Now we've seen Anthony Joshua and how talented is he? Same as I think he had, he, he had a bit of a kickboxing background, is that correct? Am I yeah. right in saying that as well? I said that's a big scalp for me. And he's now got to show that he can do that in the professional ranks as well. Interestingly, he's come out, changed his style a little bit. He's got on his feet, looking to be a bit fleet footed. Nice sharp jab. I think he's been told to up the pace. This is good from him. Yeah, definitely increase in the uh, tempo here from White now. Zeus is sticking with him though. And the crowd are loving this. the uh, tenacity to get the home fighter on the ropes here. So luck of the man, if only has shown a good defence. He's even on the ropes. Dylan White's frame, uppercuts with Venom. He's certainly very talented, the man from Peckham, you can see it. He's got bundles and bundles of natural ability. Is it he pots the shots at you from different angles, looking to fire the head and body. But the man from Lufania is really giving him a go. He's not bothered about his size.
Oh, good shots. Yeah, we'll start it with a uh, punishing jab. Have to mix it up a bit now, White. Still, Zeus is uh, trying to force himself forward, trying to push White back. So the crowd loving this contest, Phil. Real quality from both men. There's not a second respite. Both being big guys, really good to see. And also Shane's got a good chin. That one straight a bit low. Yeah, just once or twice he has been uh, close to the limit, shall we say, in terms of a low blow, Dylan White. Not deliberately, I'm sure. Well, it's good stuff, this, and the crowd are really, really getting into it. And so far it's been the best contest of the night. It always seems, Phil, that the big guys always seem to attract a different kind of um, supporter. Bit of the action in that beautiful jab from Dylan White. And again, showing that variety I was talking about. He's got nice fast hands. Picking to head and body, but again, Zeus just marching forward and putting himself in the fight. Well, he's got a wealth of experience to draw upon, Zeus. He's uh, boxed in Finland, Latvia, Lithuania, Germany, Switzerland, Russia, Sweden, Poland, Romania, Ireland, Italy, France, and the UK. So that's pretty much the complete European tour. He must have a few stamps in his passport. I say, what a proud man as well, I feel. He's come here into the Lions Den. He's having a real go against a real hot prospect in Dylan White. And he's still in the fourth round here. Having a go. But it's the man from Peckham, again, dictating. White's got a big stage now. What can he show us in this fourth and final round? He's got you know, the backing of his uh, fans. He's pretty much in control of the fight. But what's been good though, Phil, he's been tested. That's what's been good for him. You know, we, we see too many contests, you know, with young emerging talent where it's all so one-sided. But this has been brilliant for him. Yeah, Zeus again. And again, here he comes Just again. asking questions of uh, the giant Dylan White. I tell you, this is like having six good wins in this fight. Because Zeus has certainly put himself in the contest. He's still trying. Punishing uh, blows raining in, but Zeus so far has soaked up everything that White's been able to throw at him. Towers over his opponent at six foot three white, but still it's uh, a game fight from uh, Remiger Zeus. I tell you, don't get no tougher. The man from the man from Lithuania, he's absolutely a real rock, solid. This contest has been really top draw for me as I said you see too many one-sided contests this is a great contest and you, you, you give us a chance to see Dylan White under pressure also give him a chance going forward shows his power shows his variety of punches and he's got the Lithuanian here trapped in the corner just for a moment Gum shields out. Well spotted. 
from referee Bob Williams. Just a few seconds to go now. White surely on his way to victory. That's it. What a great fight that was. That was a fantastic contest. I tell you, the viewers, remember the name Dylan White from Peckham. He calls himself Dylan the Villain. I said, remember that name because you're going to see an awful lot of this young man. That is a super, super talent for the future. Here's a bit of action. Again, like I said to the man from Lufania, didn't stop trying. That was a really top contest. Well, he kept us waiting, uh, a la David Hay. He has incidentally sparred with uh, David Hay, has uh, Dylan White. It'll be interesting to see if he can uh, follow the career of David. Certainly looks to have natural talent. If he can uh, just channel it in the right direction, definitely a name to make a note of. So the man from Peckham. After four rounds of heavyweight action, a referee Williams scores the contest 40 points to 37 points to your winner from Peckham, Dylan the Villain White. Didn't quite take every round, looks slightly disappointed with uh, that verdict, but it was please, for a, very tough a game show from uh, Remigius Zeus. Zeus.